Okay, we're starting. Wait, real quick. Oh my god. Hello! Happy December 1st, or as we say in my house, happy Christmas 1st. Even though our Christmas tree has been up for a full month already, it is now officially socially acceptable to start celebrating Christmas. We're very excited. For this year, I decided that I would do a little holiday gift guide. It's mostly things that I have purchased for myself or received as gifts I thought made really good gifts, stuff that I have actually tried and have myself so I can really vouch for it. One of my favorite things about Christmas is picking out the perfect gift for everybody. This is some ideas for that. Just like when we go shopping online, I'm gonna sort from low to high in price. The very first thing I'm starting with is actually something you can make. We got this as a gift from Chris's mom actually for our wedding, but it's a little jar of date nights. Inside there were 52 things originally that are fun things to do. We actually made it our own though. We took them all out and chose the ones that we liked and tossed the ones we didn't like and put them all on our own little index cards. And we just came up with some ideas that we liked ourselves too and put them all in there. So now whenever we don't know what to do, we can just pull one out. Just for an example, we got go through our wedding photos and reminisce. So there's just like a bunch of like really cute little ideas in here. And I think this is a really cute thing to make if you wanted to do something a little more personal or make something for your significant other. This is a really good idea for that. The next thing that I have I think it's a really interesting gift. It's a set of reusable straws. There's a really big move, obviously, towards getting rid of straws altogether. Disney parks are getting rid of straws altogether next year, so that's a big deal. But it's gonna be important to have your own if it's important to you to use a straw. This came in a little set of four. They're just stainless steel. They're a little, like, curved like that, so you can get, like, almost like a bendy straw effect. These cost less than $6 on Amazon, and they came with a little, like, cleaning uh, brush with it, too. These are amazing. You can take them everywhere. You can throw them in the dishwasher. I use them in my cups at work all the time, and I like these better than plastic straws because they don't get quite as, like, grimy and gross, but I think it would make a really good gift for someone who's really eco-conscious or environmentally friendly, or even just for yourself. My next thing, since beauty is kind of where I started my blogging career, if you if you will. There's a couple of beauty items on this list. The first one that I have is these lipsticks. So they are the Maybelline Matte Ink Lipsticks. My new favorite liquid lipstick brand, especially because they're so cheap. I get these for usually about six or seven dollars at Target, but they're almost always less than ten dollars. I wear these every single day and they last through everything. You can eat something, you can kiss somebody, you can do whatever you want. It's amazing. The colors that I have are Lover, Amazonian, Ruler, and Seductress, and they're all so pretty. The one I'm wearing today is 15 Lover, and it's just stunning. I love these so much. I think these would make a great gift for anybody who likes to wear lipstick, I guess. <laughs> My next thing is like a leisurey type item and it seems kind of silly, but it's something that has actually really, really helped me. It's a sleep mask. So mine is made of like satin material. There's a really huge range of them on Amazon. I would love to get a fancy expensive silk one. There's one at, Am at Sephora that I want that's like $200, but instead you get the $8 one from Amazon. I wore it on the flight to our cruise recently and it's just really nice to have, especially if you travel a lot because it can block out all the light and help you sleep a little better. But I also wear it every night to sleep in bed as well. It just helps me kind of stay asleep because any kind of light can wake me up really easily. So it's a great gift and I love mine so much. The next thing I have would also make like a really good stocking stuffer type of gift. So these are just some little coil hair bands. So the brand that I have is called Invisibobble. At Sephora, these are $8 for a set of three and they're just really, really nice. They're super strong. Obviously the coil type instead of like the hair band type. So they stay in your hair really well and it keeps it from getting like crimped like normal hair bands do. I just really like them. I think they're really cute and I always keep a couple in my bag. So next thing I have is specifically if you live in a winter or cold type state. So these are some gloves and they are very special because they have little touchscreen fingers right here. On the thumb and the pointer finger, you can actually use them with touchscreen devices. I'm gonna take these on our upcoming trips that will be in the cold weather and I think that it would make a really good gift for anybody who is outside a lot as well. And this exact set is $10 on Amazon, but I'm sure that you can find comparable ones other places as well. Next, I have another beauty item, but it's kind of non-traditional and it seems kind of silly, but this is seriously one of my favorite things I've ever bought. It is a nail file. It's from Sephora. I got this one for $10. $10 seems like a lot to spend on a nail file, especially when you can get those disposable ones, but this is so much better than disposable nail file. It doesn't hurt your nails. It doesn't make them brittle and nasty. I haven't cut my nails in probably a year. I only file them now, and it's so much better for your nails. It's just amazing. I think that everybody should have one of these, and it's a really good stocking stuffer or a small investment for yourself if you want to get some for yourself as well. It's just amazing. The next thing that I have is kind of specific to if you are traveling or if you otherwise have a use for a lanyard in your everyday life. I got these super cute Mickey lanyard holder card things for me, Sarah, and on our trip to California. I honestly like 
really have loved it a lot more than I even expected to. I took it on our cruise as well and it really came in handy and I think that I'm gonna probably take it for future trips too. It's just really cute. It can hold like an ID or a key to the world card if you're going on a Disney cruise. And then on the back it has two card slots as well as like a little zippy thing for like cash if you want it. This was really cheap. It was also $10 on Amazon. It comes in tons of different colors. I just think it's really cute and it would make a really good gift for like if you're about to take a Disney trip or something like that. The next thing I have is kind of different as well. This is my laptop case. I got this on Amazon for $12.99 and I like this one specifically because it's really plush. Like the inside is like super warm and furry. The reviews that I read said that somebody's laptop literally caught on fire and their laptop was fine because it was in this case, which is insane. This one also comes with a smaller pouch that is really good for holding my like external hard drive and stuff like that or like your mouse or something. This one is just really pretty and I think that it would make a good gift for somebody who doesn't have one yet. So it's pretty cheap and really nice. Next is one of my favorite, favorite things to buy for myself and for others at holidays. We have some candles. Obviously these vary based on, you know, what you like and how, where you wanna buy them. One of our favorite brands to buy is the Signature Soy from Target. We just picked up a couple yesterday. The big ones this size are $10 and then the small ones this size are $5. And they also have one that's even bigger that's 15. So those are pretty good. And if you use your red card, you get even 5% off of that. So that's really good too. I just, I love Christmas candles. We almost always have one going in the house. One of my other favorites is from Bath and Body Works that I was just about to talk about is Marshmallow Fireside. It is so good, it smells like a campfire. This one is balsam fir, so it's like a Christmas tree. And then the last little one that I had here is Woolen Mittens, which is just a cute little, I don't even know what this smells like, laundry? but like sweet laundry. Obviously the candles will range in price based on where you buy them, but I put them right there in the lineup because it's usually between 15 and $20 for a good one. The Bath & Body Works ones are more expensive. This is like $24.50 I think for a three wick candle, but they almost always have some kind of sale going on, so you can usually get them for pretty cheap. Next up I have another beauty item. This is actually turned out to be one of my surprise favorites of the year. So it's this set of makeup brushes. I got these on Amazon. I really was looking for like a travel makeup brush holder, which is why I got this specific one. See, it has little snaps right there and you just kind of, there's a top lid that goes over and you snap it right there in place. It comes with a set of 12 brushes. They are really good quality and the handles are this really pretty pink and it's just, you know, all really up my alley. And I think that there's a lot of value in this set. This is $20 on Amazon. I think it's really good if you have like a person who is just starting getting into makeup. This is a good variety set to get them. Or even if you just need backups of a couple old favorites, I use some of these eyeshadow ones every single day. And it's nice to have a good variety in case you don't wanna wash them like me or you just wanna have more to choose from. They're all really good quality and I would recommend it to anybody who needs some new brushes. Two beauty items in a row, wow. So the next one is our first eyeshadow palette of the video. And I wrote a whole blog post about this already, so I won't go too much into detail, but this is the ColourPop uh, Disney palette. It is just such a good palette. It has a really good set of matte shades here on the bottom. And then this shade Ray is one of my absolute all-time favorites. It's just so pretty. My only thing with this palette, like I wrote in my blog post, is that I wish I had a mirror instead of this big empty space right here. But it's a really, really good palette. It's only $20, it's a great value, and I think that it would make a really good gift for people who like Disney as well. Okay, so next is a travel item. This was $25 on Amazon and I absolutely love this. This is a travel electronics bag. Again, I wrote about this in one of my blog posts about packing, but this is just amazing for travel. So it has two different zippered parts. So the top part has this section here that you can put like cords and stuff in and this is a zippy like mesh pocket. I usually put like iPhone cords here and like chargers and stuff right there. And then the other side has this section here. So mine still has some stuff in it from my last trip. This is like a divided mesh section up here and then there's a bigger one here. This has a bunch of little pockets, a zippy pocket right here and then some elastics to store some stuff. I keep my memory cards right there. You can put chargers there. It really is just such a good case for travel. I think this would make a really good gift for anybody who travels a lot. Or even if you just wanna organize your electronics at home, this would be a good way to do that as well and obviously it comes in this beautiful pink color so it's perfect the next thing i have some cute little christmas pjs so i think that this is a really a uh, good traditional Christmas gift that lots of people get each other. I put this right here in the lineup because it's usually around like 20 to $30. You can spend way more or way less on them. These are from Target. I got these as a gift a couple of years ago and I think they are just so cute. They have a little sugar plum nutcrackery pattern there and there's obviously a lot of places you can get Christmas PJs. I know a lot of people do the tradition where they open up their Christmas PJs the night before Christmas. So it's like a cute little, got my new jammies on. And if you get somebody a sleep mask, it'll make a really even cuter gift because it's got a little matching set there for them. So the next thing I have is another eyeshadow palette. It's another one of my all time favorites. I use this every single day. This is the Lorac Pro Matte Palette. I got it at Ulta a couple of, I don't know, maybe 
three or four years ago but it's just eight little matte shades it is so good if you are looking for like the highest quality mattes this is these are the best matte shadows i've ever used this costs 28 dollars. these beautiful colors it's pretty much any like matte color you could ever need and it's just so good it's a good little pop it in your stocking type present i love mine we're getting near the end here so the next one that i have is another one that would be really good if you travel a lot or if you just like to have more stuff to plug your usbs in this is like a power strip for usb cords so if you're anything like me all of your stuff charges on usbs now anyway so this really comes in handy when i'm trying to plug multiple things in especially when you're on vacation this came in so handy on our cruise because there were only two outlets in the entire room so i was so happy that i brought this you can plug in up to five little usb charges right there and i'm going to take this on all of our future vacations it fits nicely into my little travel bag so it really is just a great thing to have and i think it'll make a great gift for people who travel a lot as well and this is 30 dollars on amazon but i got it on prime day so i think it was like 20 maybe you can probably find similar ones but this one in particular is very good okay our last makeup item and i actually just recently got this a couple of weeks ago this is a beautiful sparkling oh you can see the camera that's weird beautiful sparkling uh highlighter from fenty beauty it is just delightful so it's basically just glitter so it comes in this mirrored glittery packaging it is god can you just look at that look at that like it is so beautiful it's perfect for like the holidays perfect for christmas i know that i'm going to be wearing this to our lady gaga concert next year it's just like gorgeous okay and it even has a mirror like i said the biggest pet peeve about that color pop palette was no mirror and i wore a little bit today you can't i didn't want to like overdo it i'm gonna do it a little more on right now it's just like it's literally just glitter and you know what that's fine i'm totally fine with that you can just i use like a little fan brush here and you just like oh my god i that is just beautiful but it's perfect for christmas and um special events or even every day you know what if you want to wear glitter every day you do that if you want to be a dog woof you know the official name i guess is like the diamond veil diamond bomb it costs 38 dollars at sephora i think it is totally worth it and i know this is gonna last me forever and i am so excited to use it forever it's amazing so for this one i don't have anything to hold up and show you but the next thing on my list is a dna test so i wrote a post on my blog about this a while ago last year chris got me the 23andme test for himself and for me so we could get our dna tested and see where we're from and all that stuff by complete coincidence me and my siblings also decided to get those from my parents for christmas as well it's really really cool i know this is something that a lot of people feel kind of weird about because you don't know like who's getting your information and how like the whole privacy thing but if you're into it if you know the risks of it and you want to take that jump i highly recommend it i think it's so cool i'm gonna put some screenshots and link my blog post about it down below as well but it is so cool to just like see all these different things about where you came from and we i upgraded to the health one later on so you can see like different diseases that you might be at risk for or different things about your traits and things like that i just think it's all so interesting and then the cool thing is that because my parents also did it i can get more information from them and see what like what how they related to me it's just really really cool and i think it's an awesome gift and i'm trying to convince the rest of my siblings to do it because it would be really cool to get all my entire family to do it it costs 99 dollars to do just the dna test so just like the ancestry where you're from but if you want to upgrade to the health one that's 199 so it's a little bit more of an expensive gift obviously there's a lot of similar services that have it too like ancestry.com but the one that i used specifically was 23andme and i really liked it if you're into it see if you can get your whole family to do it with you and find out some cool stuff about yourself all right so the big one my most expensive gift on the list this is something you're really only gonna buy for someone if you really love them and i personally don't think i would ever buy this for anybody except for myself because it's so much money this is what chris got me for our wedding gift so it was kind of a special occasion this is my dyson hair dryer i absolutely love this before i got this i was like how could anybody spend 400 dollars on a hair dryer that's so stupid blah 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 but it is just amazing i don't even know how to, i don't even know what to say about this like i don't know how to describe how good it is i've never really wanted to dry my hair before i owned a hair dryer but I never really used it unless i had to this one I dry my hair every single time I shower now because it just makes my hair look so fluffy and beautiful and it just makes it amazing This isn't a thing that I would I would buy for myself because it's so much money and I couldn't warrant spending that much money But I think that as a gift if you really want to impress somebody if you want to get them the best gift They've ever gotten get them this hair dryer. It is so incredible. Like I said, it is $400 So that's insane But they a lot of times will have like special bundles where you can get like a product with it or something So keep an eye out for it. It's an amazing gift and I would highly recommend it if you want to really impress somebody <laughs> And then my very last thing isn't really again a thing that I can show you Something I really like to do for people is get experiences if you know somebody is going on a 
trip soon and you want to maybe pay for something they want to do there or take somebody to see a show get tickets for something I think that is one of the best things you can do getting gifts that are like things is so fun and I love like wrapping presents and giving people things I love getting things like I'm not gonna pretend like I don't love getting gifts but I think some of the most special gifts that I've ever gotten have been experiences and going out and doing things or we went to go see a show or like this the Disney cruise that we just went on eventually you might lose things or get rid of stuff but you'll always have those memories and I think it's just so important to have those things especially like for us now while we're young it's so important for us to go out and do stuff and have fun and have those memories forever while it's fun to get gifts that you can unwrap I think it's really fun to get experiences as well and then you know what if all else fails and, you, and nothing on this list works for you you have no idea what to get them there's always gift cards so you can always get them a gift card and call it a night so that was my list of holiday gifts for this year I think that all of these would make amazing gifts depending on the people in your life. If you have somebody in your life who is very similar to me, you'll probably find a lot of good ideas on this list because I love every single thing I said here. So I'm gonna have links to everything that I listed here in the description box and on the blog. I'm gonna put pictures of everything there as well, so make sure you check that out if you want links to everything. If you like this video, I would absolutely love if you would subscribe to see more things that I make. I don't normally do little gift guides like this, but maybe we'll make it a thing. But I really had fun putting together all these things, so I hope that you liked it too. But yeah, happy shopping. I hope this gift guide helped you, and happy holidays. Mm. You didn't put any doggy gifts in there, Mom. I know, I didn't put any doggy gifts in. Get your person a dog. That's the best gift of all time. Get them a dog.